it is so exciting to be talking with you. Can you tell us your name and a little bit about your incredible background? My name is Kathy Smith. I've been in the fitness business for, I want to say 100 years, but that's probably a little too long. Probably about 40 years now I've been in the fitness business. So I was raised in the military, uh, traveled around the world. My, my father was an Air Force pilot. And when I, got, when I was a senior in high school, my father had a heart attack three days before my high school graduation. So I was 17 at the time. My dad, it, was, it just rocked my world because my dad meant everything to me. As you can imagine, I was very, very close to him. But then two years later, my mother was killed in a plane crash. So between, by the time I was 19 years old, I had lost both my parents. And here I was, completely orphaned, not really having any money, not knowing, I mean, I'd gotten a little bit of money to get through college, not knowing what I was going to do with my life. And I literally went into this, just like a depression, like the world was just, uh, yeah, just on me. It was so heavy. And, and, you know, life has a way of just opening doors at the right time. And I had a boyfriend at the time, and he was a football player. So I would go to the track with him. And not because I wanted to go running. I wasn't an athlete or anything like that, but because I literally did not want to be alone. I thought, I, I'm just going to go to the track with him, and I would run, run one lap and then rest and then run another one. And pretty soon I started linking those laps together and I would come back and after about two miles, I would find that the clouds started to separate and I started to feel so much better. And I started running further and further and I ran my first marathon in 1975. Moved to LA and uh, I took my aerobic training. I combined that with my love of dance, my love of music. And I created a dance aerobics class. And there it was, and it was kind of funny because in the class, uh, when I first started going to classes, there was one class in Los Angeles. And Jane Fonda would be in the class, Barbara Streisand was in the class, and we would be sitting there doing all these arm circles. And, and I thought, you know, this is great, but I love aerobics. And so I, I, I brought that aerobic component, started teaching, got this big following. I did my first video in 1981, and that kind of launched me into getting into the Video Hall of Fame, selling over 20 million wow. video DVDs, and then starting with online, uh, you know, to, with all kinds of products, between treadmills, I loved walking. I mean, walking, especially when I started having babies, and I found that walking actually was a big life changer for me. I would be out there, and I did a lot of studying, and the science behind walking, you know, you're using your arms, you're using your total body, and you're starting to pick up the pace to the point where it is making a difference as far as the number of calories you're burning, the number of muscles you're burning. So I did a whole walking program, which then, um, you know, worked into all the other books that I've done and, and you know, and, and other products that I've done through the years. With your walking program, did you find that you wanted to get the heart rate at a certain level. What, what were the overall objectives with your walking program? I love people. I love reaching out to people. And instead, instead of saying what I want, I would always go to what do you want? And what, where, where are you at? I like to meet people where they're at. So there's no sense me developing a program for an Olympian right. when you can you had just started getting off the couch. So what I really, what I really like listening to women, and I would first get their letters, and and then I would get their emails, and it's just like listening to what they wanted, and they wanted to be able to move, but because of the weight, because of a knee problem, because of sore joints or whatever, they felt that it was difficult. So the first thing that with any program, I always like to lay the foundation, mm -hmm. and with that, it's like finding out. Really having people walk a mile and just on your terms, go walk a mile. So I, the first thing I have people do, walk a mile, take your car out, get the odometer out, tr either go to a track or in your car, figure out what a mile is and how fast can you walk it. And if you're walking your mile in 25 minutes, then we're going to start there. If you're walking your mile in 16 minutes, we're going to start there. And so there it depends. If you're walking in 16 minutes, then I'm going to show you techniques that you're gonna use an arm, uh, an arm pumping technique, you're gonna use a heel toe push technique, you're gonna use a glute technique that I love to use of how to propel yourself forward so your energy level is going like this. You're not bobbing like this, but your energy is going like this. 
So the great thing about walking is that you can do a, a steady state walk, which you, you do the same intensity for 30, 45 minutes, or you can do something called high intensity training, HIIT training, high intensity interval training. And I recommend everybody put a little bit of HIIT training into their workouts. And whether, and, and here, here's the reason why. Well, first of all, let me show you how to do it. Imagine you're going out for a walk and the, you're, you're walking at, on a scale of one to 10 you're at about a six or seven, which means you can kind of carry on the conversation with the person next to you. You can, you kind of have your thoughts together. You can think about what you're going to have for dinner tonight for, uh, an interval of a uh, time, whether it's 20 seconds, 40 seconds, or a minute, you're going to pick up the intensity so that you're pumping and you're walking at an intensity of more like an eight to a nine. And at a nine, you're not thinking about anything else except Oh no, how much longer do I have to go at this pace? I mean, you're going boom, 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 boom. And you're just going, okay, 20 more seconds. I can do it. And then you pull back to that steady state. So you don't stop. You pull back to that steady state where you're kind of at that six, seven, you're going, oh, okay. And we call that an active recovery. And now you add those, those you, you add those intervals and you start to add more and more. And here's the reason why interval training is the key to staying young. And it, it happens on the cellular level. And it happens for a variety of reasons, but one of the most interesting things recently that's come out is that it works, it helps to generate more mitochondria. And so what happens is mitochondria are the energy sources in, in your cells. And as you age, the mitochondria sort of start to shrivel up a little bit, just like maybe the skin on your face as you watch it age. Those mitochondria shrivel up well, with HIT training, what they found is that you keep those mitochondria, you know, going on all cylinders, and they just keep regenerating. So, th that's the thing about exercise. Even though people always go like, "How do I get rid of this, Kathy?" and I don't mind answering those questions, but this is related to the total body, and just like everything else in life, you can't quite separate this from the skin, from the hair, from the complexion, from the vitality, from the energy, it all goes together. And it really, it really starts with adding just a little bit of this HIIT training. I think if people understood that exercise, they don't have to exercise a lot. I mean, I think that's the big secret that people go, you must exercise all the time. I go, really, I don't exercise that much. I just exercise and I, do, I have an intensity level so that I get to a point where I can get out and do these, I can be on the road and I can do a 10 minute walk. And out of that 10 minute, I can have four major pushes in there. And that can be my entire workout for the day. And then you pop into the gym that we were talking about before with strength training. You can hit every muscle group in your body with something called functional workouts. And you can do a 10, 12 minute workout and hit every muscle on your body. You are done. Kathy, you're an incredible inspiration. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. I, I really, I, I love you and love everything you're doing and love this whole project. So thank you for doing it.